Hi everyone, T here for End AIDS episode 30. It's December 30th, 2021. And uh, I don't know what the episode's theme or title will be for today, but uh, we'll figure that out as we go along. I just got off the phone with a dear friend that I've never met um, uh, from uh, le- uh, living in Lethbridge now, but she used to live in Medicine Hat, Alberta. And, um, and when she found out about what happened to me, um, she was uh, living in Medicine Hat at the time. She was the wife of a, uh, a professor at the college there, uh, where my cello professor who infected me with HIV also taught. Um, and uh, she was on the, the Medicine Hat Health Board Council at the time. So she would like review health issues in the city and then vote and make recommendations or be on the council that decides what to do. Uh, and, um, and so she heard about what happened that um, the, my professor Robert Bardston uh, um, infected me with HIV, right? She was um, perplexed. She was um, nonplussed. That's the word. She was really, uh, like, outraged. Like, why? How could this happen, right? And um, and she, so she started to try to make noise about it. And um, everybody else on the board, and they put her down. They said, stop making a fuss about this because it's Robert Bardston. You know, it was like he's... You know, and you get to know who Robert Barson was. He was sort of the crown on Medicine Hat. It was like we're not hicks from the sticks. We're cultured and we're we're woke, '90s woke, and um, and uh, and so they shut her down and they actually threatened to that they would fire her husband from the college. So they they moved out of town. They 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 actually moved out of town because of what happened to me. And uh, I she and she talked to my mom. She's um, she wrote letters also to my mom during that time, and uh, maybe became ninety seven, uh, January ninety seven, and um, and we stay in correspondence ever since. She made me quilts, many quilts over the years, and one for my my son Aaron now. And um, yeah, I've been very my mom and her have exchanged Christmas cards and stuff, and um, yeah, I've talked to her over the years too, and she's always very supportive, very and. You know what? What really made her so outraged was because she was also a victim of um, uh, sexual abuse, psychosexual abuse. Because when it's an adult doing that to a child, it's not just sexual; it's you're messing with their mind. You're, it's a power grab. It's dominating somebody else who does not have a choice, and that's you know that messes with your mind. You know, no matter how the, what they do to your body. But messing with the mind is actually more traumatic in many in many cases, um, in many ways. So she, you know, you know, people who've gone through that sort of recognize that, and other people who went through that, it's like, oh, you know, what it's like to be uh, a victim of that, and uh, you're still around. Oh, so you overcame that, because um, yeah, you, there's you can't live as a victim, and. Um, and I don't see myself as a victim. Uh, I just want to make sure this never happens in our world ever again. We can stop this. Huma- humanity can grow up. You know, just um, treat others like you want to be treated yourself. You know, and if you have traumas, heal them. Because if you don't heal them, they'll act out in uh, other ways that may be more destructive. So the cycle continues. So, um, you know, know yourself. Know thyself, Socrates. Anyways, guys, hope you're doing well. And, um, yeah, one more day to the end of uh, 2021, end of December. And no investor yet. Mm, Guys, I really was attached to the outcome that I get an investor before the end of December. December is very important to me. You know, I, I'm not, I would not be surprised. I feel like I'm ready, my company's ready, ready for investment and that we'll find an investor maybe the first or second week of January. If we don't start uh, pre-production until even the end of January, 
Uh, where there's a will, there's a way. So we could start pre-production in the production phase, middle of March. Could start while we're still finishing up pre-production. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just... It's up to God. If that's possible, then that's what will happen. Um, but I do want the first season of Dreamer to be released in December next year. Uh, December 24th would be ideal. So... Um, yeah, if you know of anybody or would like to help, even ten thousand dollars that would really help, right? Even you know, even a hundred dollars would really help. But I, I need the big money now, so ten thousand here. Um, ten people gave ten thousand dollars. We could start pre-production, and then once we get, we want to get one investor. It's easier to get more investors. So, and then we'd be able to do pre-production and we could represent ourselves and contact, get, start applying to grants and all this other stuff. Just start getting product placement contracts, you know, we'll, the funds will come in, right? But we just got to get the first $100,000 to start pre-production. So, if anybody can want to help, leave a nice legacy. You know, this, what's being documented, these videos will be in the final season of uh, Dreamer series. It'll be a loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Just uh, two more days until 2022.